Hello out there. Uh, hi, ladies. Uh, gentlemen, if you're here too, you're welcome. My name is uh, Sandra Gokowski, and uh, I've been a widow about three and a half months. It'll be four months, the 13th of this month, actually. And uh, we've all been kind of walking together. And I first of all want to thank all of you who subscribe to my channel. I just uh, deeply appreciate it. I get, like I said before, so excited. I read every one of your comments. And there's just so many of you who are just going through so many things and you're not all widows too. There's been some ladies who lost their fiancés and just different members of their family, but grief is grief, right? And I was thinking, what can I do to encourage you to take care of yourself? And one of them, I was thinking, is you just need to date yourself. Go out on a date with yourself or treat yourself the way you would want your husband to treat you or a boyfriend. The perfect husband, the perfect boyfriend. Not that we all had a perfect husband, a perfect boyfriend, but... You know what you want. No one else knows what you would like or what you would want like you do. So I thought of some things. And I hope it helps you. It does me. Go out and buy yourself some clothes. Hey, you don't have to answer to anybody now. Go out, get yourself a nice outfit. Just walking around in the in the store it gets you around people today i just went to the dollar store i meant to just get a couple things and shoot i had a cart full of stuff but um it just made me feel good i haven't been out for so long to shop for anything and people in the store were talking to each other and they weren't fearful and just everybody seemed so friendly and laughing and yeah, I had a funny thing in the store. Talked about laughing. I was in line and to check out, and there was two people in front of me, and I couldn't even see the cash register. It was around the corner, and there was two ladies behind me. And I said to the lady behind me, I go, I don't think there's anybody at the cash register yet. And she goes, she said something to me, and I didn't quite understand what she was saying. And then she repeated again. She goes, Squeeze the pig. And I'm like, squeeze the pig? I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> and I go, what do you mean squeeze the pig? And she goes, I guess there's a pig on the counter. And you could go up and you squeeze the pig. And then the cashier, wherever she's at, she might be stocking stuff or whatever, but then she comes up to the counter. I guess I don't get out much. I, I've never heard of squeeze the pig. I don't know why I told you that, but. Okay. Oh, I wanted to show that to you. Do I have it here? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Excuse me for doing that. Talking about little things that make you happy. I'll show you. I, I've seen that this year, there were, what's in style is um, the bigger sunglasses. I keep scooting around because I'm maybe a little bit too short for this and I'm sitting on a pillow. <laughs> But anyways, I seen they're wearing the bigger sunglasses. And so I ordered a pair. And it's a little thing, but you know what? It made me happy. Like, how do you like them? They're big like they used to wear. Will they come back again? I just need dark hair and a scarf, and I'll be like Jackie Onassis. <laughs> anyways, I like them, and it made me happy. It's just a little thing. But it's just so small things sometimes that just give you joy. Okay. The next thing. If you like flowers and you have nobody to send them to you, go buy them. Even like at the grocery store who go in there anyhow. They have some beautiful flowers. Buy them for yourself. Why not? Buy yourself some special food to eat. You know, something that you maybe eat. You wouldn't ordinarily buy or something your husband didn't like but you liked it get it for yourself or maybe uh 
you could get a, a fish dinner or a chicken dinner or something there at the deli. Okay, when on television, um, I'm trying to think what it's called. When you buy, there's a place where you buy, you can rent a movie. Find a movie you really like and rent it and watch it. Make some popcorn or something and put on a little cozy African and buy yourself a new robe. Mm, summer's coming, a nice light, pretty robe and a nice pair of pajamas. Buy yourself some nice bath things like bath, bubble bath or bath salts. Get into your new pajamas and robe with the new booby and something maybe sweet. Maybe you could buy yourself some chocolates or, you know, maybe you could freeze the rest and just have out a couple. If you're like me, you keep eating them, yeah. Order yourself a pizza if you wouldn't ordinarily do that. Why not? You can eat now and save from sore later. And I'm sure there's something you've been wanting to buy. But you've been putting it off. Buy it for yourself. That's going to be some something very personal for you. But just something you really want. Just do it. Buy yourself a pair of new shoes. Buy yourself some new makeup. Or... If you could go somewhere where they would put makeup on for you, give you a new update with your with your makeup, it's gonna make it feel so good. Go out for lunch with a friend, <clears throat> get your new outfit on, your new makeup, go get your hair done, go get a pedicure, get a manicure, things you maybe have not done in the past. Date yourself, treat yourself. Maybe go for a massage. That kind of might take care of that skin hunger a little bit. Buy yourself some pretty flowers for outdoors, for your planters or to put in, just to put into the ground somewhere. Or even get, if you have a little raised bed, plus you could put some vegetable plants out. It gives you something to get up every day and look forward to. Now I've got some lettuce planted out there now and some snap peas and uh, it just, it just helps you when you're thinking about death all the time and you see new life and you look out there and you see these things sprouting through the ground and, and stuff like that just brings life to you. Get a new hairstyle and or a new hair color. If you don't have great hair and maybe the, maybe the uh, virus has caused you to lose hair or stress, give your hair a rest. They've got gorgeous wigs and hair toppers now. Buy that for yourself and let your hair rest for a while. Then you're not gonna be worrying about it. And you might even plant some bulbs because they're permanent and they'll come back. A lot of them come back every year. If you like to read, buy yourself a new book. I said candy before, but buy yourself some candy. This might help. You know, when I was talking before about how I missed putting my arm and leg over my husband. They have body pillows now. Those, they're long pillows. You could probably get them on Amazon. But um, you can put your arm and leg over them, and it just feels like somebody's there in the bed. Or if you can handle it is a weighted blanket. I haven't tried that, but some people say it just makes you feel cocooned or hugged almost. Try that. Okay, and I'll talk about this more later, but I have an Alexa. Oh my goodness. I don't feel alone when I got it. I don't know that one. See, she heard me talking to her, but I just use that for everything. I'm, I might have to do a whole video on that thing. A uh, new robe, I mentioned that, a new nightgown. Ah, oh, some new perfume. How about that one? Oh, how about the diffusers that this mist of water comes out and you put in the essential oils? How about just, if you can't afford a whole new carpet, buy yourself a cheerful, big, 
area rug to lighten and brighten up your room, and just to make things look different. Maybe buy yourself some new body lotion. How about a new doormat where you first come to the door? I did that the other day. They had one at Aldi, so I hadn't planned on doing it, but I'm like, ugh, that doormat is really worse for wear. Actually, after a year or two, I think mine's been there at least two years, two and a half years, and uh, it looks so much better now. Except the old one I had was square, and the one I, I bought, the only one I had was kind of round, so I could see where the old one was. I'll have to power wash that off, you know. Buy a new bra and some new underwear. How about new scented soap? Or how about in your living room, a nice new picture? Like go to Hobby Lobby. They get nice big pictures there, buy that. Just what I'm saying, ladies, is be good to yourself. Treat yourself to these things. You know what? Your husband would want you to. He really would. To enjoy yourself. You're not, you don't have that extra money that you're spending on him for two people to live. So you got a little extra in that way. And it doesn't have to be expensive things, but find some way to be good to yourself and love yourself. God loves you. If he loves you, you're worth loving. And before you can love other people, you need to learn to love yourself. I tell you what I just ordered. <laughs> it might be funny. I don't know. Let's just see. They've been talking about these stencils for your eyebrows. <laughs> I've seen those things when I was a kid. Oh, yes. I know my sister. If she's watching this, is laughing. I was telling her about my girlfriend who had the little thin lips. And I got, I had, her mom had these stencils. And I got the biggest lips that was on the stencil. And got bright red lipstick. And, I, and she was... Not very happy with me, but it was funny. So anyways, I ordered the eyebrow stencil. It's, I don't know what it's gonna be like, but it has all kinds of shapes of eyebrows. And then it has this little round thing with a sponge on it. And I, I ordered dark brown and you, and I guess it doesn't smudge off. You can wipe it, it doesn't smudge off. So maybe you'll see me with these big eyebrows next time. If it's bad, I hope I can get it off. <laughs> I'll let you know how that goes. Okay, the sun's out. It's in the 50s, but not bad. Not bad. We're going to be okay. Love all of you so dearly. Thank you for all the people who have subscribed to my channel. And please do that. That is going to help me out so much. And, you know, like my channel, make a comment. Appreciate it. And um, I'll be making another one soon. Let me know what you think. This might not have been too informative, but love all you guys. Bye now.